Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We gotta do a quick little live stream first. Eve is snoring right now while we're live streaming. Sarah, that was one of the funnest live streams ever. Yeah, that was great. It was two hours, too. It's I didn't almost even, it's I was like, wait, what time is it? Um, Sarah's going to start editing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to watch a movie. And I'm also going to nervously wait 24 more minutes for this live stream. I look, kept a secret from Sarah that I entered a live uh, a giveaway for a Mavic Mini drone. Cause we've talked about getting a drone for literally years. I've studied on how to take the FAA Part 107 right. it's exam. It's hard because like, where we live, it's not like... And what we do, it's not the greatest area to have one, but, but we us, want, yeah, we want, we're expanding what we're doing more and we are whenever starting we're in Chicago, our family we could use it. and traveling. Traveling, we could use it. Yeah. My running, I can use it's it. It's never a better time for right, us to have a right. drone. So with us, the babies, if we're at a park and playing with our, with our baby, like great opportunity for drone footage. If I'm running in Winter Park or in other places that aren't in the theme parks, like great opportunity. Yeah. Something that we've always planned and talked about and wanted and I entered a... A live stream and I just or a giveaway and I just like feel hopeful. Hopeful. You guys want to know something? I'm really lucky when it comes to raffles. I one time you should have entered then. I one time pulled like pulled a raffle and I pulled my own name and I did not cheat. And you were there. Was that? I, I was there. <laughs> was I remember you like show. I was so embarrassed. So, yeah. I literally pulled my own name. Um, but I'm like I got really good luck with raffles. We're 23 minutes away. The stress is growing one minute until this live stream starts good luck everyone okay so it looks like we did not win maybe, maybe next time all right i did not win the drone giveaway but that's okay but angel has fallen it was a great movie and do you hear that the window's open and it is raining and it's supposed to rain i think all day which is so great because we need it here in Florida so bad. So you're finished up the vlog, right? It's exported? Uploading? It's uploading. Okay. So just got to upload and the vlog will be done. It's already 3.30. Today's kind of flying by. Yeah. I don't like that. No. Um, we'll figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the day. The hunt what for... What oh, I don't know. Hunt for a switch has pretty much ended for the day. Apparently, you're supposed to get up early and check out targets or your best of bets in the early morning. So we'll see. Confessions! I somehow convinced Peter to watch the Shane Dawson. She didn't video. convince me. I fell asleep on the couch for like 10 minutes and I woke up. It was already begun. He already said it's not his best video, but he just felt like editing and like getting his mind off things and stuff but it's a lot to do with little water option that they sell at our favorite place because of a cook contract i know but still and you can ask for water wherever you go that's not Buy your water love it mean it got the windows open got a cool rainy breeze andrew mcmahon a cup of water this is narration by Peter via the Brooka Project. Also, give Andrew McMahon a chance. He's really great. Oh yeah. Comfy. This is I'm comfy. This is called Sunday Vibes. <laughs> when it's also, chilly out. That towel is because we always knock over the waters that Eve has. Did you guys know another place I've always wanted to live my whole life is Seattle because chilly, rainy environments make me thrive. I'm like a mold. So today has gone by pretty darn fast. The afternoon was a little bit slower. We just had music on the TV and just like relaxed, no phones, just kind of, I mean, we didn't really nap. We just like chilled, which like we don't do very often. Even in these times, we're still trying to find things to do. So, um, that felt good and we just did my shot we realized that we have 11 left which means in just a couple of days it'll be single digits which is crazy um peter is going on a run shortly i have 
a coloring book, like an adult, like, I don't even know if it has like another name, but just like, besides an adult coloring book. And a really nice set of markers that I got for Christmas, I think two years ago from Peter's mom. And I think I might do that and like keep either the music going or keep my Pixar movie um, marathon going. That's kind of like dispersed over this time. So that is our plan for the rest of the night. Um, just kind of a, a slower Sunday. This is the book and it is actually dedicated. Oh wait. It's dedicated to the author's chronic anxiety and the whole point of it is to feel less alone, calm nerves, all of that sort of stuff. And it's equal part book, so there'll be stuff to read, as it is coloring book. So this is even cooler than I remembered. You want me to cut your hair? I am getting like really close to just like shaving it. No! You worked so hard to go from... I had five, I just, Sarah buzzed my head for five years before. Go back to the old uh, Fat 5207 vlogs, you'll see. Sarah used to, we still have the clippers. Sarah could shave my head for me. But it's getting well. I'm also on a kick of, I feel like I should get my Chicago tattoo. I'm gonna try to find a tattoo artist. And literally arrange it so like day one that business is open, we go get my Chicago tattoo. And your haircut. And the haircut. Okay, go Contributing run. Contributing to local businesses. Go run. All right, all right, I'm back from my run. I'm all showered. Having a weird dinner tonight. That is a burrito, but it is just a tortilla with spinach and hummus in it, and a PB and J and a banana. So they're eating PB and J and uh, tomatoes. And I came up with a bunch of, or like a really, what I think is a really good strategy to begin some like hardcore planning for a World Marathon Challenge. You just scoffed down a bunch of tomato. And Sarah and I are gonna get to work this week and she's gonna design a little booklet thing. I'm gonna come up with some, I'm reaching out to some of ACS colleagues to get some details on like hard facts from them. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be great. And I think we're gonna, I have to roll my legs. We're gonna eat, Sarah's coloring. I'm gonna put on some good TV and enjoy the rest of the Sunday and hopefully Eve doesn't lose her mind. Well, this took me all night, minus a little um, break I took to read VV a bedtime story over FaceTime. But I still have to do the door. I want to do the door like grayscale. I don't know, just feeling, feeling the rainbow. Guess what's happening over there? No, wait, I'll just let him tell you once it's, once it's true. Once it's true. Right. I won't truly believe it until I get the email that says it. But after today's debacle, we'll target had target or with a uh, West Crystal Lake Orange some target West, and then Mom Lenia had switches this morning. But then by the time I got there, they were gone. I just looked it up and just okay. So the processing. Um, my friend Dustin was like, hey, since most targets open up at 8, why don't you check online at 7 a.m. to see if they show the inventory that they're available for the store. So just now, since it's 11 o'clock at night, I was like, I'm just going to check it now to see if it updated. And the Target in Winter Garden, it said order pickup, which means you pay for it now, and then you just go pick it up. So I placed an order for Mario Kart and for a Nintendo Switch, and... I have an email that says a processing for pickup, which hopefully, fingers crossed, that means that it it means I just have to go pick it up. Um, and if that's the case, Sarah and I were just talking. Another game we want to get is, is Smash Brothers, but we're going to wait until we actually get the Run Disney refund or Sarah's next freelance uh, invoice process, just because we don't, on certain times, stuff, Sarah's income is more fluid and not scheduled. Um, so we're gonna wait for one of those two to happen and then we're gonna get Super Smash Brothers. But I think we found a Switch. Ah! Can you believe it, Sarah? I can because anything is possible. Even the impossible. Yes. Alright, happy Palm Sunday. Is that April 5th? Today's by, quote is by. Michael Alsluler.
The bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. Ooh. That is both fitting for these times right now and fitting for today because today flew by. Um, it's one in the morning. I'm not a lick tired. I don't know what the deal is, but I hope I figure it out soon. I thought, like, I thought doing six miles they would be overdoing it, but it was 60 degrees in my run, so that felt good, and I didn't feel exhausted during it because I do listen to my body when I run. Um, but I was hoping that the 10 miles yesterday and six miles today would tire me out and get me staged for a good night's sleep, but. And I didn't sleep, I, like, I fell asleep like 15 minutes during the day, so it's not like I stayed up late last night and then slept for three hours during the day today. Like, I didn't do that. Like, I didn't sleep last night. And I've been awake pretty much all today, except for those 15 minutes, so. Fingers crossed I go to sleep soon. Um, tomorrow's Monday, back to work. And beginning, it's the beginning of the fourth week of working from home um, since all this started. With at least, what is that? With at least, with at least four more to go. And I will not be surprised if it's more than that, but at least... From what, uh, from what we know here in Florida and from what my company's been saying, at least another four weeks. I would be very surprised if we go back the first week of May, but only time will tell. I am not a doctor, not a government worker, not a senior leadership in my company, so we love you guys. I'm super excited about the plans we have for World Marathon Challenge. I came home from my run and I was like, Sarah, we're gonna, what if we do this and this and this? She's going to design us a really cool book about... 12 pages about us, about uh, our fundraising endeavors, why we do it, what ACS does, and what the World Marathon Challenge is, and we're going to use that um, to bring to in-person meetings for people that we're going to be talking to over the next year and a half about donating. 30 donations of 5,000. I mean, like, any size, big or small is amazing, but that's the strategy I'm going at. I digress. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>